Good morning. I'm so glad you could join me this morning for art time. We're going to have so much fun today as we paint pictures with fuzzy edges. So there's lots of different ways that artists paint and one way that some artists like to paint is to let the colors mix together and leave lots of soft but fuzzy looking edges. So we're going to do that today for fun and you'll end up with a beautiful art project too, I know. So for today's lesson, you will need some paper. Uh, if you have heavier paper, such as some watercolor paper or mixed media paper, that would uh, be good to use because when you get the paper wet, it's going to make it easier to tear. But if uh, you don't have heavy paper, just use whatever you have and it'll be fine. You just have to be a little more careful when you paint with your brush so that you don't tear the paper when you do that. Uh, you'll need some paints. You can use whatever you have, ac acrylics, if you have craft paints, if you have watercolors, tempera, just use whatever you have. The type of paint you use will affect how bright your colors are, but it'll be fun to experiment and see how things turn out with whatever paint you choose to use. You'll need some brushes, or at least one, <laughs> and uh, some water and paper towels. And you might want to have some masking tape, and I'll show you in just a minute why uh, you might like to use masking tape today be before you begin painting. So um, we're going to look at a couple of examples of art uh, that artists have created. The first one is a watercolor. and the artist created fuzzy edges in this watercolor, didn't she? Can you see, as you look at the painting, how the colors mix and run together? Does this picture remind you of anything? When, when I saw it, it actually reminded me of the mountains in the area where as some of my family live close to San Francisco. It reminded me of some of those those uh, large mountains, mountains that are sort of bare but are very beautiful. How does this picture make you feel? Now let's look at another painting. Now this painting was made with oil paints, but the artist was still able to use the oil paints, although they tend to be very thick, but he, he did different things with the oil paints to make them look like they were running together. And in fact, look at the bottom corner. Can you see the squiggly lines from the, the dark paint, how it's kind of run into the, the lighter colors around it? How does this painting make you feel? Which painting did you, did you like one painting better than the other? <laughs> sometimes the color choices or the position of the colors sometimes can affect how we feel about a painting. So let's get started with our painting. The first thing you might want to do is to get some masking tape and I'm going to put this down so you can kind of see what I'm going to do. And tape the edges of the paper to your, your surface that you're working on. You know, and one thing about masking tape, it usually doesn't damage um, the table or the surface that you're working on when you take it off like um, packing tape would. You know, if you used a tape like that, it might it might take off the finish on your table. So masking tape usually comes off easily. But one reason I suggested you do this is because sometimes when the paper gets wet, it starts to kind of buckle and curl. And this might help it to stay laying flatter while you're working with it. So let's start by taking a wide brush and just getting your paper all nice and wet. Just get it nice and wet. And you can even look kind of sideways and see if there's areas that, that aren't wet yet. You know, you may have a few little puddles on there and that's okay. <laughs> and as you're working, you may need to go back and add more water. 
if, you, if it seems to be drying out. Okay, so I'm going to use some tempera paints. I have violet, blue, and red in my little tray. And I think I'm going to add some yellow to another little cup here. So now I'm going to get my paints real, I've got my paintbrush really wet and I'm just going to, oh, whew, isn't that cool? Look what that did. Can you see how the paints are just kind of, they just kind of went whoop. Let's try another one. The wetter the paper is, the more you're going to see that happen. If you get your paintbrush more wet, also you can, that will help the colors to bleed together. We call that bleeding together, and that just means that they're blending in with each other. Oh, can you see how the paint is running there? Let me get it down here where you can see better. I'm going to add some yellow spot there. Now if I used a different brush, let's see what happens if I use a different brush. I might like to put a little bit of extra water on there and see what that does. So you can dot the paint on brush it on and let's add some, let's make this a little wetter down here and see what happens Ooh, can you see see how the papers getting a little crinkled there and of course if it if it crinkles up and dries that way you can always put something heavy on top of it after it's dry like some books and flatten it out. So it's, you can see that I have a, a, a pretty sharp edge there because it, the paper had already been drying out. I didn't really have anything in mind when I began painting. I just thought it would be fun to mix the colors and what a beautiful painting this is going to be. I can't wait to see what you're doing with your paintings. Now one thing, if you end up, let's, let's just put some extra water on here. I think I'm gonna put a dot, a dot down here and see what it does. See how the colors are blending here and they're, they're kind of running down sort of like that second painting that we looked at you can kind of see it's like little fingers coming down so putting a lot of wet um, paint on a dry piece of paper looks different than if your paper is wet already so I have oh look at this can you see that how those are those are red let me put some more blue there Let's see if it'll run together with the violet. So we don't have a lot of control with exactly what it does, but that's the exciting thing about doing this. It's surprising. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm really not, I'm not wiping off my paintbrush like I normally do. And sometimes what is fun to do with something like this, to just paint and paint beautiful colors. And then when it's finished, 
you can um, look at it from different views, like sideways or upside down to the way you painted it. And you might think, oh, this looks like something. And this is something else if you want. You can take a paper towel and blot it if you think you've got too much water and paint on there and you want it to be, look a little different. But this, this creates an interesting look and you can have a texture. These paper towels were really textured a lot and so it created an interesting texture on the painting that we didn't have before. So the colors do still have fuzzy edges, but there's also a texture there. I really soaked up a lot of paint with that one, didn't I? And you can even lift off color if you want. See how I lifted off some of the color there? Well, that's fun to do too. So this created a painting with, the colors are pastel, they're not real bold, are they? Why do you think the colors ended up not being as bright as what you could see in the paint tray? Right, I know you said that we added lots of water to that, so the water diluted the color, didn't it? Take this off and lay this where it can dry. Let's look at one more, one more idea for painting. I have some beautiful peonies from my yard, and this is probably the last bouquet that I'm going to have this year from my yard. Aren't they beautiful? They're some of my favorite flowers. So I wanted to do a simple little painting to help me remember how beautiful the peonies were. Now I'm not going to try to make this to look exactly real like they really look. I just want to give the the idea of the of the colors and how they are just kind of full and round and, and um, fluffy <laughs> and they have those lovely dark green leaves there. So let's see what we can do using this technique. I'm going to begin by getting the paper wet again. And for this painting, I went ahead and decided to use some acrylics. So I put some acrylics in a little tray. I've got some pinks and reds and greens. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more pink. I believe that's the same one. I believe this is the one I want. Let's see if this one's a little brighter. Yeah, it is. So I have some pinks and red and green. And do you remember from a lesson that we had earlier, if you look at the color wheel, what is the complementary color of red? It's green, isn't it? And when you mix complementary colors together, it usually gives you um, a dark, it, like it can make the green darker or, the, or, or a dark red, or if you use just a little red with the green, it'll make a darker green. It creates uh, some beautiful colors. So we're going to just uh, use these colors together, and we may I may mix some of those to make some interesting uh, new colors. So I, my paper may have dried out a little bit while I was talking. So I'm just going to start with, um, and remember, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to make this necessarily look realistic. I just want to give the impression of uh, the peonies. But can you see how that wet paper is letting the colors bleed, especially like right there in the middle. Let's get it wet again. Ooh, 
Look how it's raining there. Did you see that? So let's come up here and, and make the impression of another one. And I have some that are lighter colored, so I'm gonna I'm going to use a little bit of the green and make one that's a little bit different color. Let me turn it so you can see from my angle. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I think I need maybe one one more over here. Let's make a one that looks kind of like a bud if we can. Leave that a little more um, defined. See how that line is a real, real runny. Ooh, look at that! How pretty. So now I'm going to make some dark leaves, and paper is getting kind of dry. So let's go back and get that wet. And I don't mind if the if the background looks a little bit green because I have all those beautiful leaves that are there. And so when I, when we do it wet on wet, it's going to create still wet enough that it's still running. Can you see that? Ooh, especially up here. Look at that. We make a few little dots. You know in the middle of them have these little things. They're not actually green. They're usually the they're usually pink or white, whatever the, the flower is. But this is a wet on wet picture. Oh there it goes it's running. I'll have to not raise it up very high. <laughs> But there's one thing I need to remember to do. Notice that when we're all finished. Oh, I need to put my name on it, don't I? I might want to wait until this is dry. And you know, uh, when you write your name, I think since I'm going to do pencil, I'll be okay. When you write your name, I was just going to say, <laughs> I got busy writing and quit talking, didn't I? <laughs> when you write your name, you might want to use uh, something uh, different than what you used to paint your picture. If you if you paint it, you might want to get a little uh, pencil or something uh, like a pen, something small to write your name on there. Unless you want your name to be part of, if you want it to be part of the picture that you painted. Sometimes, sometimes we do that. So we are almost ready to quit and I know you're going to be having fun experimenting more with the painting that you're working on. So let's say our goodbye song. Thank you for joining me today. What a fun lesson we had. It's so exciting to paint like this because you never know how it's going to turn out. So I hope I get to see some of yours too. Every day is a new beginning, at least that's what they say. Every day is a new beginning, so what will you do today? Will you say a kind word? Will you paint with your voice? Will you listen to a bird? Will you make a new start? There's no end to what you can do with a brand new page. Could you talk to a friend? Could you dance for a while? Could you play a fun game? Would you give me a smile? There's no end to what you can do with this brand new day.
wonderful day we're having. And remember, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again really soon. But until then, bye-bye.